our sermon is going to come out of Romans. Matter of fact, we're going to move all over the scripture that we read today. And the topic is God is coming back. Amen? Because in our scripture here, it tells us of the coming of God. And it also tells us that when Noah was building the ark, this is what I like here. When Noah was building his ark, everybody thought that Noah was crazy. Some of y'all may know the story of Noah as he was building the ark. It took him some years in order to complete the ark. But when he did, God told him to get two of each species and take them inside the ark and take his family. Amen? As we know that during that time, a flood came and the earth was destroyed. And we're now at this time when God is going to come back. And our scripture tells us that he's coming back no one knows the time nor the date, but he is coming back. But this is the part where I, myself, and you, as being human beings, in order to, to live according to the word of God, you must put on the armor. Amen? In other words, the armor is the word of God. Not my word, not your word, not your understanding, but the word of God. Now, there are times you have to ask God for help. Like when you wake up in the morning, you're not quite feeling up to par, because I've had moments when I have not felt too good. My body aches. That is the time when you thank God, well, Lord, I thank you this morning for waking me up to another day. Father God, I ask you this morning to keep your hands on me. <laughs> Help me to put on your armor. Let your word meditate in my heart and in my mind, you see. This is what Romans is telling us we have to do. When you wake up in the morning, you need to talk to God. You need, you know, if you've got a problem in your life, drugs, alcohol, uh, your marriage, or uh, something ain't going right, this, you need to talk to God in the morning. Well, Lord, help me this morning. When I walk out this door, Lord, let me have a good day. How about that, huh? Ask God to put his word in your heart and in your mind. Amen? In other words, Lord, I need you to walk with me this morning. I need you to be with me all day today. You see, sometimes you got to talk to God just like you talk on that cell phone. You have to let God know, I need you, Lord. I can't do this by myself. I need you, Lord, to, to come into my life. Help me to live according to your word. You see, Over here in Matthew, it tells about what's going to happen when God comes back. Amen? You and your homeboy could be sitting out there 
side by side when the Lord come back. But our scripture tells us right here, ain't but one of you going. Amen? Not two of you, one of you. That's the word of God. It's right there in black and white. When the Lord comes back, two by two. One is going with God, and you know where the other one's going. You can figure that out for yourself. But what I'm coming to tell you this morning is, there is a time for change. We are living in the last days. It's time for us to stop doing those ungodly things. Lust, anger, adultery, drunkenness. Anything that you are guilty of and you know it is wrong, it's time for you to bring about a change. It's time for you to turn your life over to God and try to live according to what God's word says. Amen? It's not time for you to be sleeping. It's time to turn your life over to God. Don't wait for something bad to happen and then you want to talk to God. Talk to Him when everything is humpy dory, when everything's going roses. Pray to Him. Give Him thanks when you're doing good. Don't wait till you get your back up against the wall and you're doing bad. Oh, Lord, now I need you. Well, you needed me all the time, but you didn't call me. But now, here you got yourself in trouble, now you want me. That's how it is sometimes. While we're doing good, living good, everything's going our way, for some reason we don't have time to thank God. For some reason, we don't even think about praising God. But when something goes wrong, Lord, I need you. We need to be taking God's word seriously. Today is a day of repentance. Once you repent, then you ask God, Lord, help me put this armor on. Let me walk in the light, not in the dark. Lord, control my path. Give me the strength that I need, Lord God, to fight this battle of the darkness. Because the devil is busy, Lord. Heavenly Father, we need you today. I need you. Every last one of us in this church, in the sound of my voice, wherever you may be, Africa, India, worldwide, we are in need of God. I don't know, but there are times when you just can't go on the way you're going. You need to get into the Bible. You need to to talk to God. Lord, I need you to touch my body. Lord, I know you're coming back. I want to be ready when you come back. Lord, I need you to make about a change in my life. You see, Lord, forgive me for my sins and my shortcomings. Lord, I want to live according to the way that you want me to live. You see, you need to take time out and give God the praise. You need to ask God for help and understanding because you can't do it by yourself. No man or woman can live without God's word. I don't know what took me so long, but I thank God that he kept me here long enough to open up my eyes 
to see that I need him. I want to be a servant of the Lord. It tells us that then two in the field, one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, one be taken and one left. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour the Lord doth come. But this, that if the good man of the house had known, he would have been awake when a thief broke into his house. You see, God is letting you know you don't know when I'm coming. But you need to be ready. Some people may say, well, well Lord, I, I need to know so I can get ready. Well, that's not how it's supposed to be. You should be living the way God wants you to live at all times. In other words, in Psalm, it tells about the goodness of God. I was glad when they said, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within the gates of Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as this city is compacted together. With tribe goes up the tribes of the Lord unto the testimony of Israel to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. You see, you should be giving thanks to Almighty God. Because in Psalms, it was written back here before Christ even came to the earth, B.C. And they know of God. There were men that praised God, that worshiped for God, and they lived by the law of God, and they are now trying to tell you what you need to do. Be glad when the time comes to go into the house of the Lord. But in other words, in Romans, it tells us that you should have the armor and the breastplate of Almighty God on at all times. Not just on Sunday, but on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. At all hours of the day, carry yourself in a humble, godly manner. Don't let the flesh or your mind or uh, envy, lust, all the other things control your footsteps. Amen? In other words, God wants you to do the right thing. If you got the breast prayed on, you can walk through any kind of mess, all kind of darkness. You can even go, go through the hood without worrying about the devil putting his hand on you. You see, if you got the word of God and you got God in your heart and that is his word and you're living to what he's asked you to do, you can do all things in the will of God. You see, all you got to do is call on him. All you got to do is turn your life over to Almighty God. Amen. Lord, I thank you for coming into my life. Lord, I need you to, to come here this morning. Lord, we need you to go down to Allen Glen Detention Center. Move about, Lord God. Touch all those inmates. Lord, you see, we, we're in need of you. I'm in need of you. Lord God, we ask that you help them 
put on the breastplate, which is your word. Help somebody, Lord God, to pick that Bible up today. Help somebody, Lord God, to make a change in their life. Let them know, Lord God, that there is a time. And the time is now because you are coming back. Lord, I want to be ready when you come back. We want to be ready when you come back, Lord God. I don't want to be one of the ones that are left. When you come, Lord, I want you to take me. Lord God, I want you to be able to say, Well done, my faithful servant. You see, there's time for a change here in our lives, here in, in America, and even all around the world, wherever you may live, Africa, India, Asia, it's time for a change. God is telling you over here in Isaiah, it's time for a change. There'll be no more wars, no more countries raising up against countries. Nation against nation, tribe against tribe. Lord is trying to tell us that it's time for a change. We're living in the last days. I want to be ready when he comes back. When he comes, I want to be one of the ones that he takes. Amen. Lord, I just ask that. Your word goes out, Lord, and it does not come back void. I hope and pray, Lord God, that somebody gets something out of this message, that somebody want to make a change in their life, Lord. Somebody know that they had a bad week. They did some things that they shouldn't have done. But here, in Isaiah 2, 1 through 5, here in Psalms 22, Romans 13, 11 through 14, Matthew 24, 36, it tells us this is the word of God, not my word, not something I wrote up, but what God has brought about. I ask you, wherever you may be hearing this broadcast from, the sound of my voice, read these scriptures, meditate on these scriptures, and while you're reading them, take a look at your life and ask yourself, are you living for God? Are you wearing the blessed praise, the armor of God? Don't you know God is coming back? Don't you know we're living in the last days? Don't you want to be one of the ones that he takes, not one of the ones he leaves? This morning, we have an opportunity, an obligation, that we can accept God as our Lord and Savior. This morning, we can ask God for forgiveness. Amen? If you are in need of prayer, won't you come?